In Act I, Scene Two of the play, we are introduced to Viola and her situation. Shakespeare is direct in letting us know the setting by having Viola inquire, What country, friends, is this? The captain replies to her that she is in Illyria. The reader is now given a setting, but not provided much detail or fodder for the imagination. That imagination must supply the details of the setting and fill in the gap. This is a great opportunity to ask students to discuss Viola's circumstances and the decision she makes to present herself as a eunuch to Count Orsino. It also is an opportunity to get into the mind of the captain and what compels him to go along with her plan. We are provided some details and images that supply a scaffold for the mind. My assignment asks students in groups to get together and Im look at the text closely. Imagine what's going through the captain's mind as he interacts with Viola and vice versa. I ask my students then to draw what they think Illyria truly looks like in their minds. They're allowed to go as low-tech as they would like, pen, paper, markers, watercolors, whatever they have on hand, or they're allowed to use iPad. There are many great iPad out, apps out there for drawing. Uh, this rudimentary drawing that I created as a sample for the students was created with Sketchbook Express, and it's a free app that you get in iTunes, and I used a stylus to help create it. In this very crude drawing, we have the ocean, we have the beach and the sun beating down. And this is my very quick rendition of what Illyria might look like. Now I've embedded this drawing into the ThingLink website. ThingLink is a great website for you to take images and layer them with hypermedia, text, whatever you would like to create a richer learning experience for your students. In my drawing here, you'll notice there are several hot buttons. These hot buttons have been linked with text, they've been linked with video, and they show my process and why I created the drawing that I did. For example, if I click here, you will hear my report from the captain on the one year anniversary of the shipwreck. I assume the persona of the captain and what was going through his mind as he talked with Viola. If I click here, you will see the video and hear the video. I won't play the whole video at this point because there is a link to the video on my wiki that you can listen to at your own leisure. It was a long day out on that sea and the storm blew in with a quickness. The sky turned ominous and lightning lit it up. The sound of thunder rattled your bones. One of my sailors declared that it was Hecate and her minions sending the storm in recompense for something his wife said. When his wife told him the story originally, he had thought her mad. However, as the ship tossed and turned, he and every soul upon that ship knew that storm was sent from hell itself to destroy us and our happiness. The day before had been a most wondrous day with good You get the idea there. Basically, I did a little shout out to Macbeth. Day out on that sea. Pause this video a moment, please. Quickness. The sky it was a long day turned ominous and lightning lit it up. The sound of thunder rattled your bones. One of my sailors You'll also notice I have some words here to describe my color choices and my symbolism in my drawing. So here this button is linked to text that says the color of the stormy sky represents the melancholy Viola feels as she faces life without her beloved brother Sebastian. Here, this is a wall. It says the fortress wall represents a barrier that Viola puts up to hide her true self. 
The gray cloud symbolizes the stormy path Viola chooses as a result of pretending to be a man. Here, the sun tries to peek out in spite of the cloudy sky, and we pose the question, will Viola's new path lead to happiness? Will she succumb to her grief? Ideally, I would have groups of students put these together over the course of a few days. They would be posted to the class Weebly page, or whatever page I was using at the time. I tend to use Weebly. You can use whatever you would like. And I might even throw this out on Twitter to the hashtag comments for kids to see if any other classes across the nation or the world for that matter are studying Twelfth Night at the same time and perhaps they might give us feedback on our inferences that we've made at this very early stage in reading the play. It's a way for the kids to get their work out there to a real audience other than just the teacher and I think that would be a really good tool to use with this assignment to have some discussions, not just isolated to the population in our class, but extend it to a worldwide, uh, worldwide audience. So how do you put this thing together? Well, first of all, you do need a ThingLink account. And I have one made. I just have to uh, log in here. And once I log in, I have all these choices. I can look at my profile. I can look at my students. This actually has the option for students, and my students would use accounts created by me through my account. And here, Create. So you are going to click Create. And it's very simple. You choose images or drag and drop here. So I'm going to click on this. And I've already saved my images just for ease of use to the desktop. And so, for now, just to give you a sample, I'm going to open this picture of a jester. And this is actually in Stratford. Now you'll see it says click to add a tag. You click here and here are the tags. Now you have choices in tags, icons, they call them as well, and you could like link to a Twitter account, Pinterest if you're into that, pictures, you get the idea. For now I'm going to use the red star because why not? So here's my red star. You can then drag to where you would like to place this and now here where it says link or image address you could actually upload a video if you had a video from YouTube that's what I did with my captain video in the sample I showed you you can just simply type text so I might type here Festy is my favorite fool save tag and now there you go um, you can click again and you get the same icon or you can change and have multiple icons on one page it is up to you it is as simple as that once you're done placing your icons you want to click save and now this is ready for sharing you can click here to share out through Twitter using comments for kids as I suggested. You could share it on Facebook, Google Plus, or if you use Edmodo as a class delivery system, Edmodo is there as well. You'll also notice you have this code. You can embed to any website that you would like to use, which is very helpful. And now you have a dynamic tool that you can use with your kids. I think this would be great when you're studying various locations across the world in a piece of literature. You can use an, a map as your background and give some information, videos, whatever the kids might need to make a richer learning experience for them. So I hope you enjoy this assignment.
and I would love to see what you come up with.